Hey, you know what I don't like? I'm trying to adjust my camera. I'm trying to adjust it. What's up? Uh, I have a question. Because I'm tired of fraudulence. Well, actually, I've always been tired of fraudulence. I'm tired of liars. I'm tired of you and misinformers. And uh, there's a saying out there that it's a great saying. Black lives matter. Black lives has always matter since the beginning of time. Because black folks, we are the original people, period. So you goddamn right. Black folks, your lives are precious. So when you get motherfuckers that you are responsible for creating, your bloodline is responsible for creating, and they, those type of people show you that type of appreciation, then come on, man. How many times are you gonna keep allowing them to slap you in the face, man? Huh? Fuck all that Martin Luther King shit, man. You slap me one time, I'm back at you. You know what I'm saying? That's what this is. But you gotta deal with motherfuckers the same way motherfuckers wanna deal with you. You can't come no other way, man. You can't come nice. Where these motherfuckers is coming at you so disrespectful, you know? So we got to, we got to train, we got to physically condition ourselves. We got to mentally condition ourselves first. We got to strengthen our minds. You can strengthen your mind, your ass will follow. You know, but if your mind is, is, is not strengthened, your ass is gonna be stationary, along with you. We're not setting great examples. We are not. Black folks, unfortunately, is black folks' worst enemy. Worst enemy. You know, it seems only things become important when some coward racist motherfucker hiding behind a badge start gunning down unarmed people. But where are you same motherfuckers when black folks are doing it? Or when Puerto Ricans are doing it? Or, you know, everybody's doing it to each other, you know? You're not marching then? Why? Why not? What the fuck, man? I'm tired of it because this is bullshit to me. You know, the only time I see you motherfuckers want to go cause problems and shit up and destroy your community is when white folks are doing it. You should be ready to bring the same energy when niggas are doing it. Fuck what you heard. You know, so I think this is bullshit. You know, this this, this what's happening now. A lot of folks is capitalized, even black folks. But some of these motherfuckers don't even give a fuck. Period. You know, and it's sad. And it's sad. The only time you see Sharptons and them type of motherfuckers is when some white folk is going against white folk. That's it. I'm tired, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this fraudulent. I'm tired of seeing you fraudulent motherfuckers only hit the boots, your boots is on the ground, then this is happening. But where you at when black folks are doing it? Why we ain't extremely more pissed because it's black folks doing it? We should be more disgusted at this thing. You know? We gotta get, we gotta, we gotta do better in making sure the, the politicians that are being elected have our best interests at heart. You can't give them something for nothing. No. You gotta give us something. And this is something you gotta guarantee. Period. You're not, you're not gonna keep Supporting you creeps and you motherfuckers is giving nothing back. You creeps is giving nothing back. You know, and I'm going to tell you, man, no one lies more than politicians, preachers. These are liars. These motherfuckers are those caliber of liars, misinformers. And because you are the weak type and you just need someone. And now white folks, you put trust in white folks after all the years of them showing you, putting their middle finger, square in your asshole. They're telling you, got the nerve to tell you to spin. Now spin, motherfucker. You know, so when I see this shit, when I see black folks after this bullshit's going on, when I see it after it's just going on, why has nothing changed since that time? Why these communities are still the fucking same? You see, communities need options first. You can't go into a community where there's no goddamn option and tell them this. No, fuck you. Put rims on your Tim's and roll out. Now, we need options. We need options for the young folks. Young folks need options because the idle time, idle time is the devil's playground. That's his playground. 
When you ain't got nothing to do, you're going to find something to do. And you motherfuckers on the outside looking in, shut the fuck up if you ain't going to tell a motherfucker, hey, man, this is what we're going to do. You know, we're going to back up what comes out, out of our vocal mechanism. But this is not happening because black folks, even though we the alpha race, we allow anybody amongst us. That's sad. And people come amongst us, it's not trying to, you know, we go amongst them, we got a problem. Like, why? Why is this? When everyone through the globe, you have stolen from black folks. Musically, you know, dance style, dress style. And none of you give ever say, yo man, let me say this to black folks, thank you. Because if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for the founders of the rap and all this other good shit, we would be, we wouldn't be financially secure. But you're not doing that. You motherfuckers are just running your motherfucking potholes and just want to capitalize financially whenever there's some unfortunate fuck shit going on. You know, where you at when everything is running smooth? Where you at? You know, the only time we see you creeps is when something unfortunate happens. I don't want to see you there. I don't want to see none of you motherfuckers there. You know, I want to be able to say before this shit jumps up, yeah, these motherfuckers just be around. Yeah, you're around talking to the people. You don't see politicians that represent these communities. Where you see them at? Where you see, these, where you see the booth? Where do you see them coming, trying to deal with the people? When do you ever see police in the communities trying to socialize and meet the people? How many times? I'm quite sure there's some places. Yeah, I'm quite sure. But we, I'm talking about New York. No, I have never seen it. Not with my own people. No, sir. And I told you I gave them 50 years. No, excuse me. I gave them 20 years in prison. You know, and I'm over 32, so it's like, goddamn, you been in jail? Yeah, I, I've been out right now. How long I been out in the streets right now? No, you been out right now, what? 19 days. 19 goddamn days. And this whole shit is still going on. So, this is unfortunate, but I have to do this. Um, I am putting a stop to racism. Racism is banned. It's banned and punishable by death to anyone that offends someone. You'll be put to death upon your, as soon as you're arrested. Courts, no wasting, you're not wasting the court's time. No court, police, gun folks now, the Bible. Uh, uh, white folks, you did, you used to go with that eye for an eye. Kept that. Bible in your left hand. You know, why you hunger motherfucker using these excuses? Or, or whenever, whatever, whenever it's convenient, that's when motherfuckers use it. You know, so I say this. Every time you witness this, you see it with your fucking eyes. You see motherfuckers recording and you see innocent motherfuckers. However you try to justify it. When the motherfucker has a job and you took an oath to uphold the job. You took the oath to uphold it. I didn't take that oath. Uh, 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 I didn't take it. You did. So now, why is it hard to hold these devils accountable for their actions? Why? Just tell me why. This is so hard. You hold me accountable. And you have held me accountable. Police kidnapped me. This is the truth. Some time ago, I told you the motherfuckers had my shit whipped out, man. Niggas had me indoors, man. They had this dog. That they would put this dog so close to my face. They wouldn't let him bite me. But man, that look. Now, it was three. It was two officers and the dog. Now, you had one standing off on the, towards the left side. And then you had one on my right side. And this dude kept punching me. He kept punching me. But at the same time, while he punched me, the dog is coming. That I got so, the side became so numb that I didn't feel the punch no more. I, 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 fuck your punch. I was taking the punch because I, I didn't feel it no more. I'm too busy watching these big mouths come at me. The mouth is big. I'm like, oh shit. I, I, I'm not surprised if I took a shit on myself. <laughs> Real talk. I mean, goddamn. But at that time, when I came out of that garage, there was an ambulance but conveniently already in the corner. So I remember walking to the corner and I was like, like this, water, water. They beat a nigga into dehydration. 
So I don't recall, all I kept saying over the police, man. And they sent some folks to my crib sometime later. And when they came there, and some weeks later they, they came. And the detectives were seeing the face and shit was going down. And he looking at me. He said, you want to sit? Nah. He said, you sure? And he's looking at me and see my shit is all fucked up. And I said, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I don't want to fuck with that. It, it, should, it would be documented. I'm quite sure. You know, because they had all my information. They went right to my fucking door. You know, and I said no, because at that time, they were crooked. They were criminals. These police were criminals. And believe that. So, my type of hell, the shit I went through, is totally different than what you went through. So, what you went through may have been unfortunate, but it's a different type of unfortunate involved in it. It's a lot of hell involved in, in that journey. You see what I'm saying? So when you see this shit go on still today, nothing has been rectified. We still got white folks in these political positions and they still not doing nothing, leading me to believe that we don't need white folks in these in these positions. It's unfortunate, but y'all ain't been doing shit. You know, ain't been doing shit. And it's designed for you not to do shit, regardless of what the fuck you say. There's not many white uh, politicians outside of maybe Kennedy, Clinton, you know, uh, they were about their business. I, I respect them people, yeah. They were about their business. They didn't know, no, they're not playing that. Y'all seen how they, was, how, they was, how they appreciated that. They own people's got them, you know. You tell me, how your security allow? What kind, of, what kind of searching with these people doing, man? Come on, think about that. You dealing, you got a, the so-called strongest person in the world, maybe next door to the Pope. And uh, it's, it's a sad tale, man, you know. You don't want to be around a bunch of whoppers, not me. Nah, I'm a special dude, man. I am a special man. Yes, I am a fucking special man. You know, I am a loyal man. I'm, I'm a stand-up man. I'm a man of my word. And this shit is hard to come by. Some of you motherfuckers may talk that shit. Some of you motherfuckers think because you use a weapon, you're real. Really? Got nothing to do with nobody that use a weapon. I know punk ass niggas that use a weapon. I do. Two motherfuckers I had to rescue that was bangers out in his bricks. But they got in jail and they folded like a wallet. The first time I was shot. Seeing this dude coming out on the back of the line, coming in the mess hall with a black guy with his head down like this. You know, and I told him, I said, yo, you see that dude on the line? You see that dude right there? That dude right there with a black guy, that's my dude. Now, I'm gonna need y'all to take the pressure off of him because the next time he come in this mess hall and say he got a problem, it's gonna be on and piss out. Now, the second time led me to, to, to the saying that, oh, these are just gun gangsters because there was no way that these are two shooters, known shooters, and once you remove that God from that equation, they were just bringing nothing to the table. They would fold like a wallet all the time. Like, what the fuck is this? And let me believe, oh, gun gangsters. You know, you move that God from that equation, a lot of you niggas gonna show your true self. You know, you got dudes joining gangs for that, you know, reason. Well, not a lot, but you got a percentage. And I knew real motherfuckers in these organizations, I'm not affiliated, but people are always mistaking me for someone in the gang, but nah. But they don't never ask me. They would always assume this fuck shit. And, uh, yeah, I had offers. You got them right. I remember when it started here in New York. I was in HDM. And I remember when I first heard this, I thought it was a positive movement. And I said to my man, Mostro, because I remember it was Mostro, I remember because this conversation is rare. Rare shit, I, you know, you will remember. And I said to him, maybe this is what our people's Maybe this is what our peoples need, thinking it was a positive move. I thought it was a positive move. Then I let me believe that all this shit is nothing more than Klansmen. Every organization out there is nothing more than Klansmen to me, because all they do is harm their own people. 
robbed and disrespected their own people. You know? So that was so, so sad. How huh? lead me to believe, could this shit have been white based? You know? For this shit to go on and nobody put a ban on gangs and, and racism and this type of shit yet. Nobody has thought, hey man, we're gonna ban this shit. We're gonna put a stop to this shit. We're gonna make it a felony for anyone that's involved. It's a felony, punishable 20 years. First offense, no mercy. If you for real about that, fuck that. Because a lot of this shit is doing more damage. It's doing so much damage to black, this black nation. It's doing so much damage. It's doing more harm. As far as I'm concerned, than good. I don't understand how folks, they could have just took this, took this, these organizations and took it somewhere and turned it into a righteous, profitable organization where you get all this legal money, just legal money, and making sure all your members is protected. Shit. You got, you can, you could have locked the communities up, bought businesses and kept all members and, and working. You know, we don't, we want our people working, man. You want everybody working. All your members got a job. You encourage the young folks to stay the fucking school. What's happening to our young? I don't understand how grown folks is not upset like I'm upset. You know, they're still in the street. You know, you got some so-called sorry grown folks is still leading these motherfuckers down that crooked path. I don't believe in a God. I don't believe in I don't believe in none of that bullshit because it was something white folks introduced to the world. Knowing black folks, the original people, uh, they left that, this information was never left on the hieroglyphics. Now, black folks is the original people, so knowing we are the original people, and the information on the hieroglyphics said nothing about this God, something that's this important, important as of God, especially in the time where they were idol worshiping assholes. Do you think? Get out the box and use your fucking brain. Fucking clowns, man. Clowns. Use your brain. Use this. And ask yourself some fucking questions, man. So you can give yourself some real solid answers. The answers you're going to get, you ain't going to want. Because it's going to lead you to some truth. And you motherfuckers don't want the truth. You don't want it. Regardless of what you say. You know, see, what's, what's, see, I compare lies and truth to food. Now, if the truth was food, it would be so, so uncomfortable to digest. Very uncomfortable. Now, lies on the other hand, will be so soothing. Soothing on the esophagus. Soothing going down, making its way to your tum tum. Where you can keep being happy and satisfied. Ooh, wee. Oh my God, I've been taught some goddamn. Ooh, how about. You see, we don't want to deal with you type of people. Because lies, you will keep following them. You will keep believing in something that's not making sense. That's never made sense. Never, ever, ever, ever. Just think, God damn it. Remember, the Jesus white folks told you was coming. White folks told you that. And it had dumb niggas telling you about some shit white folks told to them. About a Jesus. And how long? Think about this. Ever since you was a kid, you heard Jesus was coming. Ever since your mom and them was a kid, I'm quite sure they heard that. And when your grandma and them was a kid, they heard that. Now you'd be like, God damn. I mean, what is it going to, what, what the fuck is going on? All the hell going on in the world. We're talking about all the fucking hell going on in the world. Where's God? Where's, when children are being molested in the church, in the churches, where's he at? You, you, you doing it in the church. That's like closest it's going to come to God, right? Why the fuck you don't crush them to death? Why? Think about that. You think about children, precious, man. The children are so precious to me, man. And you can't, the children ain't protected? Are you out your fucking mind? How many times? This has been going on for a long, you're talking about an extremely long time, y'all. And you still go and give your money to a bunch of fucking liars who done told you that God's bank account is unlimited. So I can't afford to keep giving. Hey, God, I need a few dollars. Now, 
Ask yourself another question when these liars tell you about the money. God said, God said to dig deep in your pockets and whatever you drop in the basket, let it be quiet because God don't like noise. Ain't that a bit? Niggas driving around in beautiful cars while some of you is on the rooftop of the building and all this other side shit. And you go to borrow some money from the very people who give you give your, your, your little bit to. Can't get shit. So when you start asking yourself questions, when you start thinking outside the box and start thinking and questioning all the bullshit and ask your question, what part I, I ask, what part do God does God play? What's the part does he play in, in the scheme of things? What's going on? Why is black folks still going through this bullshit? Why are these wicked sayings that motherfuckers have been saying for a long time still happening? Tell me how. Let's call it what it is, because I'm tired of losing. And I'm tired of seeing this black nation lose. I'm so tired. So it's imperative, man, that somehow we get on the same page. We gotta stop with this self-hate. We, we, we are haters, all of us. You can talk that real shit, hey man, I've seen some real, these real motherfuckers, they use a gun, but once you take that out that equation, nah. 